connect it and if you want to you know scale it out then there's going to be an issue you're not you're you're not affecting the the inner part you're only modeling the uh, outer part of the mug which is not good you want to make sure that the inner part follows uh, the outline as well so I'm gonna undo this and uh, what I usually do is uh, I go to my uh, wireframe mode and just drag select making sure that ignore back facing is not on because otherwise your uh, selection will ignore the uh, back edges so I have that selected now and I'll just right click and connect making sure that slide is set to zero we want this edge right in the middle so I'm going to control click my vertex mode now and uh, just gonna scale these out like so if I go to my front view I can see that there this mid part is now a bit more out than the top part which is good because when we're going to chamfer this part will slightly go in so let me go back to my edge mode making sure I have the inner edges selected as well and go to chamfer and just raise this up like so making sure that you know uh, our polygons kinda have the same size I'm going to raise this to 4 and just move it up a bit more and actually I'm going to add 6 segments because you need to take in, you need to take into consideration the fact that you will have uh, uh, to create the handle as well so if you we take a look at this handle uh, that will require some polygons along the side to extrude it out from and if we only have four segments or two we don't have those polygons to create the handle by four you do have with four segments you do have some polygons but they're still too big so I would use six um, segment sides and um, segment amounts and um, just um, take that so we have that going on we now have that curve which isn't very defined from the mid to the top part but it tapers in towards the bottom maybe we want to undo and maybe move this down a bit just a bit yeah and now um, we're going to uh, use the turbo smooth modifier to um, to get this model to look really smooth so let me just add it right now and check what's going on so right now we can see that we we do get those sharp edges they look alright but we have a problem here at the top part it's completely um, uh, sharp and we need that that flat surface um, you know to to make this uh, mug uh, look more le realistic so to achieve that we're going to um, disable our turbo smooth modifier and um, what Turbo Smooth does is that it grabs an edge and just uh, tries to, you know, it splits it into four uh, four other edges if you use one iteration, and uh, it will just smooth this completely out. So uh, we don't have, you know, this edge loop will completely go down as it as it gets smoothed by the Turbo Smooth. So we need to add one more edge loop going. Uh, at the inside and the outside as well, going across our model to uh, contain that this upper um, uh, edge loop. So I'm going to go to connect option box and uh, I'm going to slide this newly created edge up. And uh, right now, if we go back to Turbo Smooth, turn it on, you'll notice that we do have that flat area going on in the top right now because we added this extra edge loop but I want to define this uh, shape a bit more and I'm going to grab this um, edge here shift click uh, this edge next to it and that's basically the same as if I were to uh, click ring and I'm just gonna connect it again but making sure I go to option box and zero my slide out 
So if I turn my Turbo Smooth modifier on, you can see that we have that nice um, flat area going on around there. So we have that created. And you can see here that this lower part has some detail to it. So before actually creating the uh, handle, which will be the final part of this uh, model, I'm going to um, go to my polygon mode and I'm going to I need to check what's going on. I can see that it, this kinda goes down but it has that um, it has a bit of a nice transition. Um, so I'm going to use my inset, check my reference image again and uh, I may need to lower my inset a bit and then just use the extrude, zero this out, and just extrude it, tick it, and then we can use the move tool to um, create that. And you can see that this lower part has some curve to it as well. So I'm just going to move it down a bit, like so, and I'm going to scale it in like that, it's a bit too much, like that, and I'm going to add, actually before doing that, I'm going to select that edge loop and just, uh, I'm going to sh um, press shift X and move it down to constrain it to the edge. What, what shift X does is that if I move it down now, it will slide that edge loop around uh, on the edge uh, it's on, these uh, vertical edges. Otherwise if I have shift X off then it will just move it you know, in world mode. So I'm going to sh press shift X and just move it down a bit and um, yeah that looks alright and I'm gonna grab this lower part again, move it down scale it in and I'm going to add an edge loop around this edge loop around this ring and uh, I'm going to scale it out to achieve a bit of curve uh, in this lower part because you see that there is a bit of curve going on uh, I'm going to add one edge loop here to constrain that um, shape uh, to get that shape when we uh, enable our turbo smooth modifier. So let me check what's going on right now. So as you can see, we get that lower part going on there, and uh, it just looks a bit too smooth to me here. Uh, so I'm just going to go back and select this edge, shift select the other one, go to connect option box, and just slide this new edge over there and let me check what's going on right now it looks much nicer but we still we want that sharp edge going on here and it's not happening for us right now so I will um, disable my turbo smooth go to edge mode select that ring and just you know add another edge loop to define that shape a bit better so right now I do have that really nice edge going on uh, and I will just move this up a bit. Right, and actually disable the grid by pressing G and you can see we have that nice detail on the bottom now. Um, I think our mug is a bit uh, too tall so I'm just going to go to my scale mode and just scale it down. And the only part we're missing is the handle. So we need to disable our Turbo Smooth and go to Polygon uh, mode. And we need to decide uh, you know, which polygons to use to extrude this. So I'm not going to use, um, I need to decide whether I'm going to use a sharp edge um, to um, extrude it out from actually polygons on a sharp edge to uh, extrude this handle out from 
or if I'm going to 